Hi everyone, this is G, Chief Operating Officer at Vela. Today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to place a futures trade on the Vela platform. Currently, I'm logged into my Vela account and I'm sitting on my primary account. In order to trade futures, I'm gonna create a new sub account, enable futures trading on that sub account and execute a trade to enter a position and then exit that same position. So let's start off by creating a new sub account, which I can do under the main menu by creating a sub account. I'm gonna call the sub account BTC USDT Perf. I just created a sub account and I can navigate to it by switching in the main menu and searching for BTC USDT perf. The sub account is currently empty. I'm going to need to transfer funds into the sub account in order to trade. I can do that pretty easily in that same menu by clicking on the transfer button and moving some USDT from my main account into this newly created sub account. I'm gonna transfer 100 USDT. This account now has balance in it. For the purposes of trading futures on Vela, sub accounts are isolated from each other and you can create as many sub accounts as you like. So you can conduct any sort of trading that you prefer across our contracts using independent sub accounts if you wish. Um, the liquidation of one sub account has no impact on any other sub account on Vela. You can also trade with many different types of collateral on Vela. To keep things simple, I'm just going to use USDT, but you can use Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, and a number of other assets as well. So to navigate to futures trading, I'm going to navigate to the futures uh, markets, and I'm going to select one of our markets. Let's select BTC USDT. The first thing I'm going to need to do when I'm on a newly created sub account is to enable futures. To do that, I click on the enable futures button on the order form. I accept the terms of service and enable futures trading. Futures is now enabled on the sub account and I can once again navigate to the pair that I want to trade. Let's get into a long position on BTC USDT. I'm going to place a market order to buy um, some, some BTC. Um, and I've noticed that I actually don't have enough collateral to place an order for 0.1 Bitcoin currently. However, I can actually customize the amount of leverage that I want to use in this particular sub account for the BTC USDT pay. If I click on that leverage, um, that 10X item, I can increase this all the way to 40X. I can also reduce it down all the way to 1X. It's up to you. What you pref how much leverage you prefer to use on Vela. So I'm gonna increase the 40X leverage and I'm going to pull the slider all the way to the maximum and I should be able to enter into a position uh, of almost $4,000 using my $100 as collateral. I'm gonna place that order and my market order has now been executed. You're gonna notice a new position has shown up on the positions tab and I am long about $4,000 worth of Bitcoin at 40X leverage in the sub account currently. This is something you can customize on different sub accounts. You can also customize leverage per pair on Vela. So your leverage on a different pair, for example, Solana, is independent of the leverage that you have on BTC USDT perpetual. So I'm gonna navigate back to the Bitcoin pair and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to close this position. I'm just gonna hit market close on the positions table and confirm my position is now closed. Trading futures on Vela is as simple as that. And we're excited to continue to make it really flexible for users to be able to trade in the way that they prefer on Vela.